Tonight at 6, devastation on Georgia's coastline where authorities are trying to figure out why a deck collapsed, killing at least seven people. It happened last night on Georgia's Sapelo Island, and people gathered on that dock for a fall festival to celebrate the culture of the small Gullah Geechee community who are descendants of enslaved Americans or Africans. But what was supposed to be a day of joy sadly ended in tragedy. Rob Kirkpatrick has a story. Tragedy struck a small Georgia island on Saturday when a ferry dock partially collapsed, killing at least seven people and injuring several others. Uh, multiple agencies responded to this incident, um, and once we got on scene, we realized that we had possibly 20 people or more that had, had went into the water because of the uh, collapse of this gangway. It happened as crowds gathered on the island for a celebration of its Gullah Geechee community of black slave descendants. Many members of that community sprang into action once they heard about the tragedy. We're missionary and we try to help people who are in need and it was a time of need. It remains unclear why the marsh landing dock collapsed. A team of engineers and construction specialists are investigating why it failed. Both President Joe Biden and Georgia Governor Brian Kemp said they were heartbroken over the news. Biden saying in a statement they are praying for the injured and anyone missing. Vice President Kamala Harris echoed those statements at a church in Georgia. My heart, as I know for all of us, goes out to those who were impacted. The tight-knit community is home to just a few dozen full-time residents and still continues many West African cultural traditions. That includes the art of basket making that was being celebrated Saturday in its Culture Day Festival before tragedy struck. We believe that in spite of how tough it is, that there is something good that will come out of this. I'm Rob Kirkpatrick reporting.